over the past few years, I've been losing weight, and I wasn't sure why. I had changed my diet, was eating smaller portions of meat, so I didn't worry about it. But it kept happening, and it got to where I was getting close to 100 pounds, and I knew something was wrong. So I started going for various tests, and I found out I had a thorium exposure, which is a radioactive material that um, I'm not sure where or how I got it, but as a child I had some hair loss and I've kind of struggled my whole life, so it may have been an early event. And um, uh, then I started, um, and a few other tests, and just realized that I, I am a registered nurse and I realized that these were grave signs and that I was in trouble and that I needed to do something. I didn't choose to go for the Joe Dispenza material. It just started defaulting up by these wonderful testimonials and other things on YouTube while I was cooking and cleaning the kitchen sink. And the more I heard, the more I perked up and got interested. Okay, so basically I was asymptomatic except for weight loss. And then uh, I signed up for the event and I wanted a coherence healing for it. And I filled out my survey and sent it in before I came to the event. And then a few days after that, I started having my first physical symptom of pain. And it seemed to be liver or colon or bowel or something, but just mild pain. But this was causing me to have a little fear start rising, which you don't want when you're trying to raise your vibration and go into a higher energy field. And so, um, and then in my meditation, there was a little bit of something I was feeling. And so I'm like, oh boy, this is really going to be a willpower and a challenge to do this if I'm having physical symptoms. And even uh, Dr. Joe said himself that when you, if you keep checking your body and you keep doing that, that's, that's like a living affirmation, a doubt in and of itself. So I realized I had a challenge to deal with. So I, I was just sitting in my meditation one day and I thought I was just present in a state of receptivity, which is part of the practice. And suddenly I just sort of popped and I, I was at the bottom of the sea. I didn't feel like I was in water. I was just at the bottom of the ocean, but this big thing, as big as a large shark, came swimming up, but was curvy like a serpent and looked completely unfamiliar. And something else was there. I had a sense that two or three were there. It just happened in a split second. And as soon as I saw them, I didn't think anything. I knew that they had dolphin-like sonar and that they could change the vibration of my liver with sonar. It was a knowing. And, uh, and, then as soon as, and so I immediately said to them, you are dolphin-type creatures. You have sonar and you're going to help me with my liver. And then the serpent by this time is here and his head is about this big. He's kind of wall-eyed and he makes eye contact with me. And I had a sense that it was permission to heal. And I looked at him and it was given. And then he just came over here and that twinging stopped. And then uh, all is happening almost all at the same time. This big circle opens up over here and there's a dolphin-like face. It's kind of humanoid dolphin mix. It doesn't have a long snout. It's just dolphin features smiling at me like, yep, you got that. You got the light code. You understand what this is. And there was that. And the twinging stopped and that pretty much stuck with me for a while. So I guess what I'm saying to people who are home is if you can't come, if you have obligations, you don't have the money, if you do the practice, that things can happen in the privacy of your own bedroom. And uh, that's, that did happen, and it was pretty encouraging. And uh, something happened the next day. Um, uh, I was meditating, and I, felt a commo I heard a commotion up high, and suddenly I'm back down there again. And, I'm kind of by a wall in the ocean, which I might have been before, and it was like a train pulled in up there. It was silver with a thin nose, and when I looked up at this really futuristic looking train, it turned into a creature kind of like a seal, and he came down and looked at me, and I don't know what he did. I don't know anything else, and there were no light codes telling me other than it's like, okay, here goes the healers again. And um, there was another one that seemed like dolphin energy. So I had three days of that, and that's all I know. Then, um, as I came to the event, the uh, sleep dep deprivation from preparing and schedule change and all these things, I was really, really tired, and I started having pain again. And um, so, that, again, that was a little bit of a downer. And then on day two or something, we did the kaleidoscope event, where we're just sitting in a chair, gazing at the wall, just being open with a kaleidoscope. And then he tells us to get on the floor and takes us into a meditation. Now, when I went into that, somehow I got sick also. I forgot to say this, but I got 
maybe a superficial sickness from the travel or different food. But, and I normally do not get the flu, but I had uh, vomited a large amount of vomit, which is, I can't remember the last time I have. This is not my nature. And I vomited a lot. And I was, uh, then I felt a little better. And then the next day, when I'm at the kaleidoscope, I was so sick that I actually laid on the floor to not leave the room, to listen to, to Dr. Joe's teachings, couldn't sit in a chair. And then when the kaleidoscope came, I wanted to sit up and look. So I got in a chair. And I was not going to go to lunch. I was going to go to my room. I thought I couldn't eat, feeling horrible. And once I got on the floor and went into the meditation, I saw myself joyous and kind of younger looking and happy. But I knew it was my future self, looking fantastic. And I sort of merged with that. And that whole illness and all pain went away. And I got up off the floor. And there's a lot of dancing at these events and a lot of really good rock and music. And I was dancing for quite a while. And I have been high energy, sleeping little, and attending everything with really fantastic energy. Uh, so that was really, you know, that was really great. And then the next day, um, or right after that healing, my team leader walks up and gives me a coherence healing token. And I, I got that. And then, so the following day, I went into the coherence healing. And, um, you know, I just, re it was is receptive. I w did a lot of work to receive the energy. And I feel like, oh, and then since then, my meditations have been um, in, the, in this group. When I am in meditation, I am having more visions that um, I, like we did the pineal meditation today. And I was able to go in the pineal gland and I could see features. It was like I was in a movie. It was just like I could just look and see things. And when I was in there, I was shown things about myself. I have some decisions to make about where to put my energy when I come home for my livelihood and creativity and my new future self. And I was shown my computer. And that means writing for me. And so I've been receiving very clear instructions about what to do, uh, about diet, and about even my career. And then um, the next two days, I was a healer. And t today, when I was in this, uh, and I originally had a license as a massage therapist before I was a registered nurse. And so I, I have energy in my hands, and I know this, but I've never had energy like I had during the coherence healing today. I mean, I could just feel buzzing rays coming out of my hand. And the uh, Healy, when I hugged her afterwards, she told me she could feel it. So there's been a progression of things that are very subtle. But my, for my own homework, I know that I have to practice this, that there's no messing around, that every day I raise my vibration, I avoid negativity, and I, I do all of these things. And in doing that, I am fairly certain that I will be back here giving an all clear testimonial for my body and having weight on again. And I look forward to that.